Hello, I'm Chris Caprani, lead audio designer here at Giant Software. Hi, I'm Niels, audio designer as well. Today, we want to take you through our kind of general audio pipeline for vehicle implementation. So we're going to talk about how we record vehicles, how we edit and process the sound assets, and then how we implement them into the game engine. So the first step of getting um, a new tractor into the franchise is, of course, to record it. And for example, for the engine and the transmission sounds, we use uh, small diaphragm condenser mics. For the exhaust of the, the vehicle, this is the main component that really replicates the sense of size and scale. It's all captured in, in the bass frequencies. So we've chosen to use actually a kick drum mic. So moving on to the cabin. Yes, for the cabin, we use omnidirectional laughs. We can fit them in, in every corner in the cabin and yeah, we most of the time position them on ear level to get that nice stereo, stereo image. image. Transmission sound can only be heard while moving. Mm -hmm. And that's why we move behind the vehicle with our mics and audition different spots of the transmission sound. For the cabin, we, we're we basically using a, a stereo approach. And we generally attach them, because they're so small and discreet, we can just tape them to the, to the top of the cabin somewhere in the position of the, the driver's ears. And then for the engine, it takes a bit of additioning um, to find the so-called sweet spots. Yes. Um, we usually manage to get a nice natural sound with about four microphones, two on each side of the engine. And we're really looking for a tonal balance. We need to record the vehicle at specific conditions. And the first is whilst it's stationary. The tractor sounds different depending on the RPM mm -hmm. it's on. First of all, we get the idle RPM and then the max RPM. And in order to get six loops, uh, we divide that by six, of course, and then we record each RPM stage for about 30 seconds. The main reason we use six is because it guarantees uh, a high fidelity audio experience, but it's also um, budget friendly in terms of memory allocation. What is load? Load is actually when the tractor is activating its like second voice, let's say. And um, basically we have a machine for that as well. We do, yeah. It's, it's essentially, it's, the machine is called a dynamometer in this instance, and it's simulating the tractor under like work conditions, under resistance. So it's simulating the tractor being out on the field, pulling a two-ton trailer or a big plow. Um, often that condition is, is hard to organize. We don't always have access to a field and uh, depends on the season also which Absolutely. attachments we can use. So this specialist um, dynamometer is a good way to record this, this second voice. Transmission sound is independent from the RPM of the actual vehicle so it needs to be modulated in-game by like the speed of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're trying to find a flat road uh, where we have a lot of space and we're trying to to record different speeds, actually. That's right, from min to max. Absolutely. So let's say the tractor drives 30 kilometers an hour. We try to get like each five kilometers an hour steps, basically, yep. and trying to record them as long as possible in order to create clean loops out of them in post. That's right. It's an iterative process. Um, so you can't guarantee that you're going to get it right the first time. But if you keep experimentation in mind, you're well on your way. Now we're just going to prepare some equipment and software and going to actually show you how we now process these recordings and assets. It's a simulation game, so the, the idea is really to keep it as natural as possible. Um, so the first step is really noise removal. For example, for the exhaust, when we use two microphones, they can get out of phase or be actually in phase. Mm -hmm. And uh, for that, we can flip the phase on each channel. And if we do so, uh, we can hear that sometimes the bass is missing when we flip it or it boosts the bass and... You can hear the power is lessened. Now I'm going to take you through some editing and the use of custom actions within Reaper to kind of automate the process. We prepared and created some custom actions. These are the engine and exhaust loops. And we just want to say it's kind of impressive for us still. All the time we do it, we're like, Wow. Yeah, that's it. And then for the transmission here, so it's like kind of two clicks and everything is organized into perfect kind of loops. 
So the next thing we're going to talk about is how we actually analyze the load recordings. We can see they saw the red and the white line you can see in the background a bit. Uh, they are the playing frequency spectrums of the onload sound and the offload sound. And the white line you see is actually the calculated difference between those two. And then if we choose all points, we can decide whether we want to have a dry or wet. And of course, the wetter you get, the more of that load frequencies we get in there. These values we're going to hand over to our programmers and they create then a custom It's like preset. a preset, basically. Yeah, yeah. preset. And that gets linked to the project we're working on, that it fits actually to the machine where the recording is from. Mm -hmm. And then we can use it as a preset in our loop synthesis tool. Indeed. And we'll move on to that loop synthesis tool now. Yes. And that is just the load sound of the EQ that's been applied to the lower points. And I guess the final part of the processing is to hear the volume, the effect of the volume oscillator. Um, so we can unmute that. We've got maximum load, we can keep it there. And we can toggle on and off again. This is our vehicle XML. That's actually where we trigger all of the different sounds we use for a vehicle. The pitch of the transmission sound actually changes depending on the speed of the vehicle. The next element actually is the fan, which is very prominent on uh, modern vehicles. Yep. And basically the main thing we, we modulated here is that when the motor load is at its highest, so at one, that uh, the volume actually should be the loudest. You're taking a virtual tractor that just sounds like a tractor to kind of feeling like one. True. That's all from our side. Yes, thank you everyone. Really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the information. See you. All the best. Ciao.